also know the White House is dealing with that other major development tonight, and this involves the Russia investigation. Those indictments from the special prosecutor, new details about George Papadopoulos, a foreign policy expert who advised then-candidate Donald Trump pleading guilty to lying to the FBI about his contacts with Russians during the campaign. Well, tonight, as we've been reporting, he is now cooperating with investigators as a witness. This evening, who did he report to inside the campaign, and how is the White House now describing this young man? Here's ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl. The president summoned business leaders to the White House today, saying he wants to sign tax cuts by Christmas. But that announcement was quickly overshadowed by questions about the Russia probe. Are you going to pardon me, Mr. Manafort? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's your reaction to George Papadopoulos? Thank you very much. Your reaction to the guilty plea, Mr. President? Thank you. Thank you. And on Twitter, the president lashed out at former campaign advisor George Papadopoulos, who pleaded guilty to lying about his contacts with the Russians. Few people knew the young, low-level volunteer named George, who has already proven to be a liar. Check the Dems. Trump once called him an excellent guy and sat just a few seats away from him during a national security meeting in March 2016. Tonight, this newly obtained video shows Papadopoulos at a rally for Greek Americans last November, praising his candidate, Donald Trump. Papadopoulos told Mueller's investigators that during the campaign, he met with people he believed to have close ties to the Russian government, and even tried to set up meetings between Vladimir Putin and candidate Trump. Prosecutors say he revealed this to at least five senior campaign officials. Among them, ABC News has learned, are campaign chairman Paul Manafort, deputy campaign manager Rick Gates, campaign co-chairman Sam Clovis, and the first campaign manager, Corey Lewandowski. Today, Lewandowski says he doesn't remember any of it. I think that Papadopoulos is an example of actually somebody doing the wrong thing while the president's campaign did the right thing. But Chief of Staff John Kelly acknowledged in an interview with Fox News that the special counsel investigation is distracting President Trump. It is very distracting to the president as it would be to any citizen to be investigated uh, for something while at the same time trying to carry the weight of uh, what uh, being president of the United States means. Chief of Staff John Kelly said that this Council, the council investigation has been very distracting to the president. Uh, can you elaborate on that? What, is this, is this uh, uh, affecting his ability to get his job done here? I don't think it's at all affecting his ability to get his job done, and that wasn't the point he was making. She says it's not getting in the way the president doing his job. John Carl with us live tonight from the White House. And John, White House Chief of Staff John Kelly said that he thinks the special counsel's investigation is almost over. But what are you learning on that front tonight? Well, Kelly said that the investigation should wrap up soon, but David, there is absolutely no indication that that is the case. In fact, in some ways, it looks as if the Mueller investigation is just getting started. John Carl with us tonight from the White House. John, thank you.